Hey Pack, what's going on? Time for our second episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Let's get started. So I was supposed to go to North Clock Town. No, dog, you are the bane of my existence. He really is. He hates me. I don't want to listen to you, Tattle. At least you don't say, hey, listen. That's, that's good. Hello, strange-looking man. You're strange-looking. You have probably the reddest nose I've ever seen. Hey, kid. Boom, boom. I said boom, boom. <laughs> oh, no, the green fairy! Oh, no. Is, that, is she bad? Young one, please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked skull kid. Please find the one street fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. That's the weirdest thing I've ever done. And I've done some pretty weird things. Now, during the day, the fairy is going to be at the laundry pool. At night, he's going to be in East Clock Town. Or she, or whatever. And try and try to avoid getting close to that flower. It'll trigger a long cutscene. Get away from me, stupid dog. You stupid dog. Please hear that, please. The rest skill kid has broken me apart and shattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Clock Town. No problem. That's why I came to get you. Alright. North Clock Town, no problem. Hey, dog. You can't get me! Super spin attack powers activate. I forgot what I, I remembered what I was doing. What do you want, shrimp? I'm busy practicing with my blowgun. If you can't pop that balloon, then don't mess with Jim. <laughs> Jim. His name is Jim. That's my dad's name. Oh, fairies! Ow, where did you come from? Wasn't this game rated E for everyone? Tattle, you and the young one of the altered shape. How did you know? Thank you for returning my broken body and shattered... My broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that the masked child was helping me and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you the magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. been granted magic power in your current form press B to shoot bubble blasts and hold B to blow a big bubble blast release B to shoot it your magic power decreases when you shoot replenish it with magic jars and potions okie doke the man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of the skull kids whereabouts but be careful
You have been warned. You must not underestimate that child's powers, kind young one. Even if you are returned to your former shape, uh, come see me, I shall give you more help. <laughs> okay, I take it back. I feel so creeped out, I'm just gonna go hide in my room and cry. <laughs> He said I couldn't, I wouldn't be a good guy if I didn't pop this bubble. Pop! What? What was that? I was standing right here, dumbhead. Are you the one that just popped that bubble up there? Not bad for a DQ scrub, but you're standing a little close. <laughs> My bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. Uh, but don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You'll have to pass my test first. Are you ready? No! Yes. Alright, line up, guys. I kind of stole Chugga Conroy's thing. No! Yeah. Well, since I did that, I'll put his uh, channel in the description. If you think you can fi find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? He's a little slow. They always have that one slow kid. So they have this one. I usually get him in here. Ha! I hate it when they do that. Boo! It's a good thing I know where all these guys are. Oh, you caught me. You're the leader? You're the easiest to find. So far. And... Chicken Boy. Got it. Oh, you caught me. There's only two left. Now we fit up here. That chicken is really freaking out. Or I guess he would be a cuckoo. Not a chicken. Haha! -ha. Oh, he caught me. Now there's only one left. Why are you. What? What, are you, what would you have to say that's so important? I'm confused. That's probably what you have to say, anyways. I'm confused. Yes, I am. I'm so far in this game, and I only have one ruby. So far in this game. <laughs> I'm funny. I feel funny. West Clock Town. Da -ba -da. I love this song. I can play it on the piano. Da 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 da. Oh, no way. You finally got me. Finally. Dude, I got the other four, like, easy peasy. You are really easy, too. You're pretty good for a DQ scrub. If only you were a human. You're racist? Racist? I guess that's in between specious and racist. Then I could give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way. No scrubs that don't look exactly like the rest of us. I guess not. Once we let... Once we let a kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy, did we ever regret it. Sorry. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can tell you only once, so, so pay close attention. Are you ready? Two, three, one, four, five. Two, three, one, four, five. Alright, I'm going to keep saying this, so if it gets annoying, too bad. I have to remember it. Two three one four five. 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 And you want to pass through here? You have to say this if you come. Two, three, one, four, five. 
Um, that's right. If you know the code, then you remember, right? Okay, here you go. Oh, he's so sad. There's a lot of cool stuff at that telescope guy's place. Oh, yeah, and, um, Mummer's Secret Society of Justice Forever. I could come up with a better name for that, but okay. To the observatory! This is that part of that creepy Ben, ben video. Ben! Yep. I didn't fall for you that time. It bounced off. Haha, <laughs> I killed you with my face. Literally. I actually did kill you with my face. Mind blown. Ah. Another balloon? Where do people get these things? I mean, really, I want one of these for my room. A Majora balloon? That would be so cool. And now, for what is probably the weirdest observatory I've ever seen in my life. The most colorful, definitely. Neon colors, it looks like laser tag. Hey, old guy. You're old. Oh no! The moon's tears in the way. Well, what a strange looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers gang? Yes. Pervert. Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friend from the other day. Hermph, hermph, hermph. That ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, I just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into my telescope? He's up here, but something else I want to mention. You can find guys like... Oh, it's not over here, I guess. Yeah, there is a guy. See him? See him jumping? Uh, that is actually where a hole is, which is why he's jumping around there. Oh, it's, oh, it's night time. Also, there's a guy there, so I guess there's a treasure chest there. I just wanted to point that out. No, you can't do it. Ha ha. Is he mooning us? I just said mooning in a Majora's Mask game. Is he mooning us? I'm so funny. Well, did you find that troublemaker? And that loud noise, what was that? Perhaps another moon's tear has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door, and that only. And that opens only on the eve of the carnival. Maybe he's evil. Alright guys, thanks for watching my second episode of Nerdwolf Plays Majora's Mask. Join us next time for Majora's Mask. Peace.